Kathy. I got your name right. Thank you. Team two. Here we go. No. No, I don't like mics. All right. Uh, so good afternoon. I'm here to talk on behalf of the research institutes. Uh, you see our slogan here for today is unity in diversity. So um, the um, institutes would like to reiterate that we're very happy with the current level of diversity and flexibility that we enjoy. At the same time, we are uh, looking forward to having, continue having a environment which is uh, adequate in order to allow us to continue working as the connecting dots of the, uh, of the university. So I represent here all these uh, research institutes. It's very difficult actually to talk with one voice for all of them, but I hope to, uh, to represent them uh, adequately. All right, oh, the other side. So what causes actually, what uh, uh, instigates the admiration for research, for research institutes at Tilburg University? We believe first is continuity, right? We talk here about a four, maybe potentially eight year strategy program, but research institutes have been around for more than 10, maybe even 15 uh, years. Another element that we have been taking very, very seriously since the beginning as research institutes has been benchmarking. And this is important also for the university, right? If we want to know what we want to become, and do this properly, then we should also see whom are we competing with, right? What we exactly want to achieve. And then for institutes have been, has been really important to uh, 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 sharpen the external focus of Tilburg University. We have acted as ambassadors in this, in this respect, and we have always done that in a bottom-up, very flexible approach. So currently we are working indeed with uh, uh, three themes, but the institutes have had a much broader palette of, in, of uh, interests and um, uh, research interests that we have pursued. And this brings me indeed to the discussion about focus. So currently we have advanced three major uh, themes. However, for us, focus is relative, right? Why three and not 10 or 20? Right? So it's not so much about focus, it's more about identifying all these connecting themes which we, with which we can work together and we can also excel. What we should also, of course, try to do properly and properly monitor is whether there is scope for clustering, right? clustering institutes. Of course, many times we are asking, you know, the institutes, why the university should invest in institutes. But we should also, you know, we could also ask the opposite question. Why institutes should remain in Tilburg, right? Currently, we are, many of us, uh, most of us, I would say, we are globally renowned, right? And this activity could be moved elsewhere. Why staying here, right? This is an important question, I think, to, uh, 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 to ask, taking into account the the current level of maturity at the uh, institute level. Obviously, we are staying here uh, because there are proper incentives for research, because we are rewarded wherever we, you know, our outreach efforts are fruitful. Uh, we stay here because we are um, uh, supported when we launch any education uh, initiative. Um, we also stay here because there is a, a, a stimulating environment for working together. There is the lunch seminar in Den Bosch. There is cooperation between Tilek and Tilt. There is also the Net Lab. Right? So there are initiatives that are uh, supported by the, uh, the central level, and this should be the case also for the future. The, uni the uh, university could also use the institute much more actively when it comes to building international networks we believe that actually there, there is scope for much more uh, uh, work. The university also could streamline sustainable investment in, uh, in, um, in the institutes. And also 
discuss with them more actively how to ensure that we work properly at the interstices between uh, institutes and uh, schools. This brings me to sustainable growth. Sustainable growth is a topic that has been in the think piece that was, um, uh, that was distributed. We believe that only disruptive growth should bring new schools. We believe that um, new schools are not necessary just to launch education programs, but we should be thinking only around critical mass. If critical mass is there, then we could move into new directions. So this means actually that a constant monitoring of critical mass is necessary in our opinion, otherwise we may indeed cause unnecessary fragmentation. So this brings me to my final slide, and I'm almost on time. Wow. So I was talking about unity in diversity, uh, but we can see it also from a different perspective, saying that even if we are diverse, we do carry the uh, Tilburg University brand around the world, right? And we do this quite, quite successfully. Um, we have, I think, we should somehow celebrate all these achievements that we have uh, 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 done to date, right? And this has been, of course, a, uh, achievements that we couldn't achieve on our own, right? These are achievements that we managed to, uh, uh, to achieve together. Of course, many times, this has been a very uh, risky uh, initiative, a very risky endeavor. It has worked, but oh, after many nice. painstaking exercise. Thank you. However, even if we are different, <laughs> we can still achieve very important goals together. Thank you very much.